Foster practice today? Foster, yep. Yeah. Yeah. How big was it to get those guys back that have been out for a couple weeks? It's good, practice? you know, we had, we had, you know, just miscellaneous. We've had a couple, you know, two or three different type injuries that have held guys out for short times, and some have been out longer than others. Uh, but getting DK, Jake, and Balin back today was big. Those have been the hamstring guys, and, and uh, so they moved around well, practiced all day. And then, uh, uh, you know, Justin was out a couple days. He was back today. Uh, Blake. So we got, got several guys back. We still still got a lot of sore bodies right now. You know, we're playing in 10 days. So we start turning the page really fully to getting them, getting us, getting our plan ready, and then also getting their getting the bodies you know ready to go play and just kind of back with some spring in them. How difficult was camp this year, considering you had an earlier game compared to other years? Uh, it wasn't too difficult. I mean, it's just, I mean, we're a young team, so we had, a, you know, a couple different things from a practice standpoint, just because we got some youth, uh, a little different than maybe in last year. You had a really veteran, veteran team, and they probably could have played the first day of camp. Uh, so that that was a different, a little tweak here and there in the practice schedule, but as far as uh, our process of getting ready, not much changed. And uh, it's been good. The, the biggest difference is, you know, we're, you know, I, I changed practice a little bit today because we're normally when we're practicing on this day, we, we're, we're two weeks, we're, you know, a week from Saturday. But, you know, we're, we're in the game week here this week. Uh, so we've got, just tweaked it that just a little bit. But it's been good, guys. If, you know, what, the way we take care of them, our weights and all the stuff that we, we do, uh, we've got a good, holistic plan in place and, and uh, like I said we're as most teams a little beat up at this point in camp um, but for the most part I feel like you know hopefully by, by Wednesday Thursday these guys will have a little more spring in their leg and you know Friday's a, we'll get in all game prep Friday's kind of our mock game situation stuff and, and then uh, you know Saturday we're, we're just in shorts and you know, Sunday's kind of like a Monday to us that's how we treat it Start getting ready to play. So not a lot of contact left. And now it's about getting fueled and ready. I think you said that you were wanting to make maybe or we're thinking about making some red surf decisions this past weekend. Did you? Yeah, yeah. We, we got you know. First of all, nobody's everybody's going to play. Right. Uh, so that's the good news. The way it is today is is everybody's going to play. We got four games to, to play with. Uh, we got a few guys that that for sure that that we're like okay these guys we're definitely going to be able to hold. And then we got several that I always say are on the bubble that right now our plan was to we'll play four games and make a decision from there. Yep. Um, and then we got some guys we know are going to play. So, you know, we're not going to get into all those names and how we've got it, but, but we've definitely made some decisions on that. Coach, we saw a, a big change with Travis between his freshman and his sophomore year, just physically he was able to put on some muscle and break a lot of tackles. Have you, have you seen a similar change with Linjet in that regard? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I think Lin Jay is just light years ahead of where he was last year. Last year he was just lightning in a bottle. You know, look out, anything can happen. Uh, sometimes it was good and sometimes it was bad, but uh, it, it was it was just just not all together uh, with him last year from a, just a real understanding of the bigger picture. This year he's just a much more complete player. I mean, we really, the game has slowed down for him. He understands not just what he's doing, but he has a much better understanding of why. You know, last year it was literally just, okay, I do this. He didn't really understand why as much. But he's just a much more uh, knowledgeable player, and that has led to uh, consistency and confidence. And then he's stronger. I mean, he's, he's had a whole year in that weight room now. And, man, you, you get in that offseason with Joey Batson, and he just does such a phenomenal job with those guys. You know, because it's not like an option for him. You know, it's just our culture here. I mean, we don't put the work in. We just put the work in. And, and that, it's shown. He's had an excellent camp. He's excited about his opportunity. And, and uh, I think he's going to have a great year. As you close out camp now, are you pleased with the progress the young guys have made? And did you see the leadership this elephant you wanted to see develop? You know, I am. I mean, there's just only so much you can do. Uh, I mean, I wish I could say, boom, they're a junior. Uh, it just doesn't work. Just like you asked me about Travis Etienne. I mean, I mean, he, he was a good player as a freshman, but he didn't even, he's light years from where he was. And so. It's only so far you can take guys. Now you gotta go play, and uh, you know they gotta they gotta go play. They gotta get some game confidence, game experience. 
um, game adjustments. Uh, but but I'm really pleased. First of all, I love the group. I think they're serious about it. I think it's important. Football is important to them. Uh, we got a lot of enthusiasm with those guys, and that's that's a huge thing. And they they don't mind being coached. Uh, the biggest thing though is there's a, they've got some self awareness. I think a lot of times when we have a problem is when freshmen are in denial of where they are and what they got to do. But I don't think we got any of those guys that are in denial. They're all very self aware of. Okay, here's where I am. Here's where I am. Here's where I am. Woo, we got a, all got a long way to go to be even the, even the guys that you know we think right now are are going to help us right away. You know, uh, an Engada, who y'all heard me say a lot of good things about. I mean, he's not anywhere near what he's going to be as a junior. You know, so but from a starting standpoint, as a freshman, I mean, he's in a, he's in he's in he's one of those guys that's kind of up here, but he's still got a long way to go. Um, but, but I think all of them are very self-aware of what they have to do to be to be better players. And I don't think anybody's in denial of, you know, you know, I should be the starter and this guy, they're all crazy here. You know, I think I think there's a lot of self-awareness and trust and respect um, of the process that we gotta go through and you know, and that they have to go through uh, to be ready to help the team win. And uh, so good news is 